Hey guys, welcome to another Top Drive video. Um, and after a few requests, I've decided to do a couple of tutorial videos. So today we're going to start with tyres and drive types. So in top drives we have three different drive types which is the rear wheel drive, four wheel drive and front wheel drive and there is five different tyre compounds. Uh, standard tyres, performance tyres, slick tyres, off-road tyres and all surface tyres. Now each tyre has its own strengths and weaknesses and we're going to start with the standard tyres and they are the strongest in the wet um, and that's because if you think of your standard tyre car at home um, they have a lot more grip on them and they can disperse water a lot more than performance tyres so standard tyres you generally find that the handling is quite poor on them uh, but in the rain they are fantastic so I'm just going to show you a quick couple of races. This is Cadillac CTS Coupe with standard tyres and a four-wheel drive um, against the Lotus 340R, which outside of the wet would absolutely destroy it. And again, another wet track on the Monaco hairpin. Um, the standard tyres just perform. Now a standard tyre car will also do rather well on loose dirt and ice and snow if you really need it or you are stuck for a car so don't ever rule them out um, obviously they don't work as well as off-road tires or all surface tires but they will do the job which obviously I'm demonstrating here so we will move on to performance tires and um, there's not much to say about performance tires the majority of the cars in the game have them um, they work really well on asphalt not so well in the wet, um, almost non-existent on uh, snow and ice and dirt. So performance tyres, you really, really just want to keep them um, to the tracks, if possible. Now we'll swiftly move on to slick tyres. Um, slick tyres are, for me, the worst tyres in the game. Um, you can only ever use them on... Uh, dry asphalt um, as they work on nothing else um, luckily there's only a few cars in the game that have them but unfortunately them few that do have them are some of the strongest cars in the game um, so anyway I'm going to quickly show you a couple of races now this is the same race um, twice against the same car uh, one in the dry so as you can see a massive win and one in the wet <coughs> And this is how bad the slick tyres really are in the wet. Uh, humiliating, uh, to be brutally honest. So for me, slick tyres are a no-no with anything except for dry asphalt. Okay, from here we're going to move on to my favourite tyres, the off-road ones. And in fact, that's my favourite car in the whole game, the Integrale Evolution. Um, <clears throat> now, off-road tyres are brilliant on everything, almost, apart from the wet. Um, so, they work on snow, they work on ice, they work on asphalt, they work on dirt, gravel. Um, pretty much anything apart from wet. Um, and I'll give you a quick example of how off-road tyres are effective so this is taken from clubs earlier um, and this is on grass so the Porsche is on off-road tires against the performance tires and as I said before performance tires don't really work off-road <coughs> and the same again here so the the Datsun just absolutely slaughters it even though it's got nowhere near the stats and again another Datsun against another uh, performance tyre car and if you look the performance tyre car got a DNF so for anything off-road you want to be hitting the off-road tyres and if you've got them the four-wheel drivers they are the best um, <coughs> which you would expect now last but not least we're going to have a look at the all-surface tyres now all-surface tyres are good on all 
surfaces including wet dry uh, snow ice but they're not they're not strong in any one particular one but they're not weak in any one particular one so all surface tires are a good all-rounder um, especially when you've got the four-wheel drive ones so we're talking about four-wheel drive um, you want our four-wheel drive works all four wheels receive uh, equal amounts of power um, and then depending on the road surface and stuff like that the the power will be distributed as and where it's needed um, to keep grip um, now in the game four-wheel drive um, cars you generally find that the stats are slightly lower especially in the uh, handling department I'm not not saying that the four-wheel drives aren't fast um, especially when you've got the Chiron and the big Lambos um, and even some of the the Range Rovers are quite fast um, but overall they have lower stats in the handling um, which makes them look a little bit daunting but never roll out the four-wheel drive cars is always a use for them um, especially if they've got medium ride height and we'll look at that in a different video um, but just remember that four-wheel drive standard car tires are the best um, well almost always the best in uh, wet tracks uh, wet slaloms uh, twisty roads and so on okay so I'm gonna call it to an end there guys hopefully you'll know enough about tyres now to make the correct choices when it comes to events uh, look out for some more tutorial beginner guides um, coming up in the very near future thanks for watching don't forget to hit them like and subscribe buttons keep following me for more top drive videos and i will see you next time for another one take care